Drug Administration just approved a simple new test to detect a sometimes deadly disease for pregnant mothers and their babies. It's preeclampsia. We find out more about this breakthrough blood test from the Director of Communications and Engagement with the Preeclampsia Foundation, Lainey Poy. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? Okay, you and I have worked together on several projects after I was diagnosed with preeclampsia and HELP syndrome with my second child. When I heard that a blood test, like a simple blood test, could determine if someone was at risk, I thought, oh, yes, this is what we've been waiting for because so many women are caught off guard by it. How, how big of a deal is this test? This is an incredibly big deal. So to date, there really have been not great ways to predict what patients are gonna go on to develop really severe preeclampsia. And doctors have to kind of make the, the decision whether or not to deliver a mother uh, by you know just sort of watching and waiting and determining um, what they need to do. What this blood test does is allow doctors within a hospital setting for women who are between the gestational ages of 23 to 34 weeks to actually run a quick, simple blood test to see um, how their placenta is functioning and it has a pretty high predictive value for telling us whether a woman is going to develop really severe preeclampsia within two weeks. So what that does is it just gives doctors an extra tool to decide, do we need to go ahead and deliver this mom or can we give her a little bit more time to help baby grow and thrive? Uh, preeclampsia is a leading cause of premature birth and we definitely you know, want to decrease that rate. I, you know, the test sounds awesome. I, I'm not sure it's going to be used as widely as, as at least I was hoping because, you know, some women are totally caught off guard because I, I think what you said it, it was key. This would be used in a hospital setting. It's not like every woman who's pregnant is going to get this test, right? That's exactly right. And um, it's not something that would be used in the doctor's office. It would be with women who either have preeclampsia or are suspected to be, have preeclampsia in the hospital. And... Uh -huh. What this really did was this is the first test here in the U.S. that has been approved by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and it really provided a pipeline for other tests that are coming to market to um, have us just more opportunities for predictive and diagnostic tests um, so we have more options to, just to figure out which women are going to go on to develop severe preeclampsia. All right. Uh, step in the right direction. I love hearing it. Thanks for the update, Lainey. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Lauren. You can find a link to the Preeclampsia Foundation, their work here in Texas, which is a lot. They're doing so much. Fox4news.com.